What's going on my landlocked Mongolian sea pirates? Today we're going to be covering Tunnel North. Um, not much else to say. It's an amplifier in Candy Valley Endurance. We're going to build it AFK. I'm going to build it for you. We have some trap list. We're going to get to it. So Tunnel North, um, there's modifiers that hit it. There's mist pods. There's hot spots. Well, it depends on your amp placement, right? If you don't have North Hill amplifier or a sinkhole, it changes up a little bit for, but for the amp configuration we have, it's got uh, hot spots, it's got missed pods, and we're gonna make those happen. So if you guys like this video, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel. I talk really fast and this is how I talk, but um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, it really means the world to me that I make content for y'all and this Candy Valley Endurance is something I've been putting off, but wanted to get out to you guys, so here's that video. So we're gonna be talking about Tunnel North and uh, this amplifier, um, it's pretty cheap compared to most of my designs, right? It's only gonna be 176 structures and stuff like that, so it's not that hard. But it gets hit wave 4, it gets hit wave 9, 14, 19, 24, and 29. And Tunnel or tunnel North, I shouldn't say Tunnel East, but Tunnel North is a cross spawn with Sinkhole East. We've already built the spawn trap with Sinkhole East. If you haven't watched that video, it's gonna play heavily into this video, so you guys gotta go watch that. But um, yeah, so it's gonna be that cross spawn with Sinkhole East, so you need a lot of durability for this. And that's one of those important things that I always suggest you guys get, is those trap durability survivors and follow the correct trap rules on the traps. That's really important for these cross spawns. So get as much trap durability as possible and follow the trap rules. Now you can do this under max um, trap durability, under max trap durability, but I don't know the exact percentage and I'm not gonna test that. That's for you guys to decide. But anyways, <laughs> now that we've got all those little precautionary tales out of the way, let's go over this amplifier. So the mist pods and hotspots that spawn on this are kind of annoying and we have ways to deal with it. One of those ways is the mist pods are, um, we, the mini bosses spawn out of them and they track you as a player versus the objective. So you have to get them under you and you have to have them track you. So the Mac grinder specifically built six high in the sky, so they can't teleport to you. Um, now sometimes they come up to the Mac grinder and just chill with you. Um, sometimes that really just happens and you got to deal with it. I mean, they don't really kill you or anything, but they'll beat on your Mac grinder for a little bit until the wave's over. Um, but there's three that spawn out and generally they just sit under you at the Mac grinder because they can't teleport up to you. Um, one of those things is hotspots as well. And hotspots really limit where you can build as they destroy all builds. If it gets hit on tunnel north on wave nine, um, basically we build around the hotspots. There's nothing we can do about uh, like mitigating them, you just have to build around them. So that's what we're doing for that. But for this uh, for this tunnel, we're basically just doing a damage tunnel with a lot of heavy hitting traps at the end, um, just so we can nuke down the smashers. And it's gonna have a mini boss dancing design, and it's gonna be this cross spawn. So I do hope you guys enjoy this. There is a rare spawn in this, and we have to build our own little separate tunnel for that, but like, that's just basically a giant kill chamber. So yeah. Um, let's get on to the traps of this build. They're not too hard. Um, there's 59 traps in this build with 7,020 metal. Uh, so relatively inexpensive, 117 structures of the metal and 176 overall. So actually cheaper than you would expect most amps to be. All right, but our traps in this. So we do have a sound wall. This is gonna be an Aldera blue reload, legendary reload. There's gonna be one of those. Um, we're gonna pull up the trap sheet because I don't trust my own notes. Okay, so there it is. We're gonna have a sound wall with all durability, one purple reload and one regular legendary reload. We're gonna have an all dura two reload speed sound wall and these are gonna be three of those. We're gonna have eight wall darts with crit rating, double or er, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Three wall darts with damage, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, durability. We're going to have two wall darts with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, heals, builds attached. We're going to have six wall dynamos with crit rating, double crit, or er, just regular crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. We're going to have five wall dynamos with uh, crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. Five gas traps with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, effect duration. One gas trap. Now this is a weird rolled gas trap, but it makes sense in the build. It's going to be a crit rating, crit damage, two durabilities of effect duration uh, gas trap. We're gonna have five ceiling electric fields. These are just gonna be your crit build ones. 
so the crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. And honestly, I think there's six of them. I think I have it wrong on my um my trap list. So we're actually gonna change that to six. So congrats, we have sixty traps in this. Um, cause I think I have four on the, yeah, yeah, it's definitely six. Okay. So six of those, we're going to have five ceiling zappers. These are going to be crit rating, double crit damage, uh, damage durability. All right. Let me change that in the trap spreadsheet. So I don't confuse people. We're going to have three wooden floor spikes. These are going to be crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, shields, builds attached five broadsides. These are going to have crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, durability. And then six tar pits with all durability. Um, the fire investment doesn't really matter as they're never really going to proc. So 60 traps in total, 7,020 metal, 177 structures. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's get on to the build guide. Peace. Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing Tunnel North and Candy Valley Endurance. Uh, this is part of my series for the AFK Endurance. I don't really know why you're here if... Uh, this is your first video recommended to me. That's kind of weird because we're in the middle of a series. So go check out the other parts of it. But we're going to be talking about that little amp down there. A little D amp right there. Just a little D, not a big D. But we're going to be talking about my north of a uh, tunnel amp. Um, as you can tell, that's a tunnel. That's a tunnel. That's a tunnel. So it's tunnel amp. Who would have, who would have ever thought that? Uh, the, the amp with all the tunnels is tunnel amp. Go figure. But anyways, we're going to be doing um, Tunnel Amp today, and um, if you haven't already, Sinkhole East ties in to this build, so this spawn trap is going to be for Tunnel Amp as well, uh, north. Uh, if you don't have Sinkhole, just build the spawn trap portion of uh, Sinkhole, and maybe like block off Sinkhole. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, like advice if uh, you just straight up just want to do Tunnel Amp, because... Um, Flingers will, if you have this amplifier, try to go through your sinkhole amplifier. Uh, so you either need to block off all your areas over here or up here in case, like, um, you don't have sinkhole amplifier. But anyways, here we go with Tunnel North. So we've already built kind of a framework of it um, last video. So we actually really don't have much to cover. It's 176 structures in total. That's not like the, just in metal. That's not just in traps. It's just in total. So gonna be a short fit. I hope you guys enjoy it. So this amplifier, it's getting hit by wave four, nine, uh, 14, 19, 24, and 29. 29 is miss pods. Um, there's specific spawns for miss pods. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I've forgotten all of them, but the build's built around them. So I think there's like one right here. There's one like right here. There, there's a couple of them that I build so that I don't fuck up the build because of the miss pods. Like for example, if they say they spawn right here and I've built like walls around it, they're gonna break through those walls, right, to try to get to me. So many uh, mini bosses that spawn out of miss pods, they're unlike other miss pod or other mini boss spawns where they're actually going to try to track you versus uh the objective so we have to deal with that in a specific way um and basically i just have them come and sit behind under me at the mac grinder so they'll come and chill right here and like look up and be like hey what's up dude or sometimes they even get courageous and they'll come up right here because i afk um up here now i'm i'm a weird one and I actually, every single time I come into this, I come and build one, two, three, four, five. I put my banner down right here and I stay out of K. Um, a lot of you guys aren't going to do that, but sometimes the Wave 29 mini bosses will teleport up to the first layer only and just start beating, but they won't actually break too much because, frankly, the round will end before they break in anything. Um, but don't be surprised if that happens, because I know that's caught a lot of people off guard and they start to freak out when they're in my endurance. I'm like, oh, dude, just chill. They're hanging out with us. Anyways, um, you guys can see my ADHD mind uh, working. So anyways, we're going to go down there and start the build because I've rambled way too much. So let's go over spawns first. And I need my Xenon bow so I can actually point. Like, come on, game. Why didn't I just spawn in with it? Duh. But anyways, we're going to have a rare spawn right up here. Um, this is actually kind of icky spawn that kills a lot of people's builds solely because it's not happening very, very often. But the husks would just go... La -dee -da -dee -da, and then jump down right here into the build. So we don't like that. So we have to build for this spawn up here. There's a spawn right here. Boop. There's spawns back here. And then there's spawns down here in the river. And there's spawns all the way over here. 
Uh, and these spawns over here are generally across this tile, this tile. So they'll sometimes break this wall dart, and they'll break these wall darts, and then... Ironically, they don't break these every time. They'll only break this one, if given the chance. But yeah, it's all back here. So, basically, what we're going to be doing is, if you've watched the sinkhole video, you kind of know what path we're going to take. Um, I mean, it's not pretty hard to see which pathway we're going to take. Um... We're gonna take them over- I'm just kidding, we're not gonna fucking go over there. Now we're going right through the tunnel, it's kinda like my last old build where we, uh, take them through this left tunnel over here, because this is just simply the best way. There's a bunch of hot spots that spawn right down here, um, if you get tunnel north, those hot spots are right across here, and then they spawn right here. So, if you make a tunnel here, it's pretty hard to have floor traps and wall traps. So, um, that's why I opt for this side. Solely for that reason. But you kind of have to worry about mispod spawns over here, too. And I'll mention that as we go along. But the first thing's first, and we're actually going to place a structure now, congrats. We're going to place a floor right here. We're going to place a wall, a wall, a ceiling. Ceiling, wall, wall. And we're going to have a wall out here. This breaks, like, half the time. Um, but for the half of the time, it doesn't. Like, shit, it's there. It's not like important necessarily, but sometimes spawns from sinkhole east will break it. Um, but yeah, just disclaimer on that one. We're gonna have a floor here. We're gonna have a little edited wall here. Boom. We're gonna have an edited wall here. Boom. And then we are gonna keep on going through the tunnel. So re edit that back, and we're gonna have a floor, wall, 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 no floor here. And I'll explain why in a second. We'll have a little low wall here, a low wall here, a wall, a wall, a ceiling above. Ceiling's above all of this, basically. I don't even know why I have to say it at this point. We're going to have a windowed wall here. We're going to have a low wall here. Boom. We'll have a regular wall here, regular wall here, a ceiling, low wall here. All right. We're going to have a windowed wall right here. Boom. We'll have a floor starting here. We don't want to have it here, right? Because this actually blocks the husks' movements that they can't get up this. Um, and we also don't want to have it here for the same reason, is if we have this all filled up like this, a mispod can spawn right here. And if they spawn right here, they physically can't get out unless they break one of your builds. Um, and usually they go for these wall dynamos, and that just creates a nice little pathway for the husks to walk without hitting a lot of your traps. So we just don't place that floor. All right. And then we're going to keep on coming on, and we're going to place a edited low wall right here. Boom. I think it's going to be right there. Yeah, yeah, I think I have an edited low wall right there. Okay. So now that we have that, um, that's a lot of our tunnel. We're just going to top that with ceiling tiles because I always forget to do that. And there's going to be a floor here. Behind this though, what we're going to do is we're going to place a wall here and a wall here. This, I don't have a TP loop on this amplifier solely because this tunnel, I need all this damage to kill everything late wave. Um, if I took them towards this Northwest pathway, you can get away with it, uh, with a smasher bridge and TP loop. Honestly, just haven't put in the effort to do it, because this build works. Um, yeah, so that's... Really, I've just updated the traps to fit the CC changes, and... Uh, made a little bit of improvements, because I wasn't always the best back in the day. I mean, it was good for its time, but I've gotten a lot better since then. Alright? So that's our basic tunnel, right? And if you've seen any of my tunnels, you know how this is going to work almost immediately. Oh, la dee da dee da you bring them through here. Uh, they're going to get hit by some gas traps, probably. Going to get hit by some wall darts and wall dynamos. You know the works. Anyways, so let's get going on. Let's work on the block off now. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're going to come right over here. And um, I do have this right here left open, this floor tile. But I do have, I think, hold on, let me treat. Let me think, let me think. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. How did I have that? Oh, that's right. I have it like this. Okay. So one of those things is there's a mispod spawn right here. Uh, actually, I think it's right here. Um, and that's bad. If you place a floor here, you run into the same issue where they're going to break a bunch of shit. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a wall here. And that's going to be for tunnel east. So you don't have to necessarily worry about that too much. But then we're going to have a floor, a wall, 
And then attached to this is going to be a floor. This is going to matter for our build. Because we're going to have a wall dart on that. But yeah, that's just the weird build that um, I just would have forgotten about if I wouldn't have seen it in my screenshots as I was going through. Alright. So, we're going to go do our block off now. So, we've gotten our tunnel done and we'll put the traps in a little bit. Um, I still don't know whether you guys like me placing traps before or after. Um, but at the moment, we're just going to do it after because I'm lazy. But we're going to be coming right over here. So we built this block off in the last video, and it was mainly for sinkhole east. But we're going to start here. So we're going to place a wall here. We're going to place an edited floor tile, and we're going to edit the two tiles out to the south. Floor tile, edited two tiles out to the south. All right. We're going to have a cone facing the northeast. Cone facing the northeast. Wrap those in the walls, except for on the natural terrain side. Don't be a dummy. And then we're going to have... Uh, three floors and both of these are going to be facing uh the south too or you're going to have the tiles taken out to the south so mist pods are going to break any floor that's out like this they're going to break and any wall right here they're going to break um any cone they're going to break uh like this so one weird i don't even know why it's a thing but one weird thing is the stair piece the ugly one the one i never use doesn't get broken to the hot spot here um, if it's on the outer edge. So we're going to have three stairs right here. So this won't break to the hot spot and it'll add a little bit more layering. And um, believe it or not, like I know a lot of people not necessarily had issues, but uh, some people complained when um, the last build that there wasn't enough layering over here. Um, this adds that layering and they never had issues after that. But I mean, I don't know. It's remnants from our old build and it works. So we're going to continue on. We're going to come up to our top of our ramp and we're going to place a floor, a floor, a cone, a cone. Let me keep on going through here. We're going to have a wall, 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 wall. So this box is going to be open because a hotspot spawns in there and we'll destroy any cones in there. So we don't have it. Just simple enough. We're going to have a cone right here. This is going to be facing the northwest. We're going to have a wall here. And we're going to have two cones wrapped in walls around here. And don't put it on the natural terrain side. But it should look like this. Boop. So that's what it should look like. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys from overhead in a second. If I can get up there. So boop, it looks like that. Congrats, guys. That's our block off. Um, the edited floors are important in this build. As it probably won't work without them. I'm not going to say, like... An affirmative but you guys can check it if you want to but it didn't work when i was trying it way back in the day so uh without the floors so you guys can test that on your own but um next we're gonna worry about our mini bosses so i mentioned earlier that there's mist pod spawns um mist pod spawns basically are uh those little things those war game modifiers that spawn out a mini boss and there's only three that can spawn out of them um and they have set spots so there's like one over here uh, there's one over here, and then there's a lot that just are in spots that are unaffected by our build, but there's also like a couple up there. There's one up there, but we have to give the husks a path to us, because if you notice a lot of the path to us is blocked off, um, they'll just start beating the shit out of these walls if we don't, so uh, we have to give them a path, and the path that I chose was right here, kind of built it into the build. We're going to edit our little staircase right here, um, and it bends to the west. We're going to have a little uh, half staircase right here. It's going to now going to have like a little quarter floor here. Um, and this is just me trying to be fancy, I guess. Uh, this was from before, right? Since it worked and I didn't have to touch it. We're just going to keep it like this. And I was trying to be fancy. Half little staircase. Woo. But we're going to have a little uh, edited floor right here. The tile's taken out to the west. We're going to have a little another staircase right here, uh, half side. We're going to have a half. Let me look at my screenshot. Oh, no, OK. No, it was the bendy one. It's going to be this one because for some reason. We don't want things dropping right there. Past me was weird, guys. Future or er, now me is weird, but past me just I don't know, man, chief. All right, now we're going to have another little half stair. And then we're going to have a floor edited like this. Honestly, the little half floor right here is for looks. If you can have it like this. 
I just chose to do it because the rest of it's a half. Like I said, I'm special. So it'd be like that. All right, and then we have one more little uh, area to worry about, and that's our rare spawn. Well, actually, we have a couple areas, but the rare spawn's what we're going to have to worry about next. So the rare spawn's up here, and I'm going to have to find my screenshots for that. So uh, I'm going to tap furiously on my computer till I find it. There it is. All right, congrats. I found it. So we found it. Yay, me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place a uh, floor here. So they're going to spawn right up in here. Uh, and we have a very short amount of area to work with. So we're going to have to kill them fast. And that's the whole goal of this is to just kill them right off the bat right as they spawn. So we're going to have a little edited floor or wall like this. Edited wall like this. Edited wall like this. Floor. Regular wall. Regular wall. Uh, windowed wall. Windowed wall. We're going to have ceilings above it. Ceiling above, not right there. Four little uh, ceiling tiles right here. So this is just gonna cover it up and we're gonna spawn trap the shit out of them. We're going to have a regular wall here. And then we're going to have a floor wall on both sides and a ceiling. Yay! And then behind this guys, we're gonna actually place a wall here and a wall here. Now, one of those things that's annoying is um because our spawn trap's so complex over here uh there is a spawn that could potentially spawn they these guys up here falling down already down to here and that's one of the reasons we have this wall dart for sinkhole east but we also kind of need a flinger shield right because if a flinger just kind of comes right over here and makes it past that wall dart they can throw out the amplifier so we have like a little flinger shield connecting to that so we have a wall right here 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 so it's three up two up so one, two, three, one, two. And they shouldn't be able to throw over that. All right. So now we get to trap it. I think that's all the builds in it. Um, if I'm wrong, don't shoot me, but. Oh, no, 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 we have to do our amp design. Okay, so we have a mini boss dancer, right? And it's the same mini boss dancer we had. Mini boss dancers are inconsistent. I'm sorry about that. Um, but they it works the majority of the time for me. So probably like 80% of the time the mini boss dancer will work. And the only reason you actually need a mini boss dancer is wave 30. Um, it still passes most of the time without it. But let me, let me just say, there's always a chance mini boss dancers are going to fail. Uh, simple enough. Um, if you want to get a little bit frisky and build a bridge here, go be my guest. Um, just keep in mind, you can't have any walls within three connection points. So you have a pretty big radius where you can't build anything. But we're going to build a little mini boss dancer. So we're going to have a wall here. We're gonna have a cone here. We're gonna have a wall. We're gonna have cones surrounding this, like that. We're gonna have a wall right here. We're gonna have a wall here and here. And that's gonna be our mini boss dancer, right? So theoretically, they're gonna come out of this tunnel. They're gonna come right over here. They're gonna chase the monitor. So right, the monitor is right here. Uh, for some godforsaken reason, they come right here and dance. Um, I still don't understand mini boss dancers. Um, I've never had success designing them. I've stumbled upon some, but I've never had success designing them. But this was um, from Nathan Joe Fr. I think he went by Yermishio, U R M I S H I O, back in the day. Um, he was helping me with my last Candy Endurance build, and this is the dancer he stumbled upon. So he let me use it. So this is the one that we use. So that's where we dance. And, uh, I mean, you guys can go check his channel out. He doesn't make Fortnite content anymore, but he used to do some candy builds probably about a year ago. But, yeah, that's, so that's our little um, amplifier design. All right, so we're going to come all the way over here, and we're going to start trapping. Okay, so now this is where we get him with the sound walls, but we have a couple unique traps, and I know you guys might not like it when I use unique traps, but I do. And they make sense to me, so... Oh well. Um, if you ask, oh hey, do the trap rolls matter? They do. If you're asking that question, they do, to you. Um, if you know how to fix something, or use different trap rolls, be my guess, but if you don't, use the ones I suggest, or it's probably not going to work as well as you think it is. So we're going to have an all Dura 1 reload right here. So where are you, bad bitch? Pew, pew, pew. Nope, that's not. There it is. Alder 1 Reload right there. 
Wow! Woo! Sound walls. It's just pro propane. Um, simple enough. I just don't like propane, and we're going to try to mitigate it as much as possible. So one of those things about this cross spawn is um, blasters from Sinkhole East love to travel this way for no apparent reason and just walk this way through the tunnel. Kills a lot of durability at the front of this tunnel. So I used to have a wall launcher pushing them back out, but the problem was they'd get pushed back to here, walk back up, trigger the trap another time, walk back up. So no more recycling there. We're actually going to have a weird gas trap. Um, we're just going to have a double durability, crit rating, crit damage effect duration. This is just going to be slow reloading. It's going to kill them, um, and it's going to have a lot of durability. So, yeah, it'll kill most of the regular husks pretty easily. Only thing is really not going to affect too much is like smashers and maybe riot huskies and husky huskies, but they'll die to the rest of the tunnel. But that's that's the big thing right there. So we're not going to have recycling here. We're just going to swap to the sound walls immediately. So it's going to be an all dura. Blue reload, one reload. Like one legendary reload. We're going to place it here. We're going to have our trusty. And I mean trusty. I think it's going to be a heals, builds, attached wall dart. So where are you, buddy? There you are. This uh, damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, heals, builds, attached. I really like these. Um, mainly because if we have an accidental propane explosion, these heal back up. Wow, and then they can shoot again. So we're going to have one right here as well. We're going to have wooden floor spikes. Um, this is an option for you guys. I use these. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. The, see, this is this is a weird thing with the game. Uh, I was looking at it, and it was like a floor launcher. But nope, because that's my mouse over it for some reason. But yeah, we're going to have these double crit rating, double crit damage, heals, builds, attach, wooden floor spikes. Um, you can use the blue ones that I used to use a lot. I just like the heals, builds, attached on them. Even this... I didn't want to force too much on you guys, but even something like this you can use, like a power level 69 wooden floor spike, that's probably actually a little bit optimal, um, just because it gives you all the durability in the world, and um, you have that heal spills attached on it. But I'm using these because they do damage and I'm lazy, so we're going to place those there as well. We're then going to place an all dura 2 reload speed sound wall. We're going to place it here. We're going to take our crit build gas trap, the one we always use for everything, crit rating, double crit damage, damage effect duration, we're going to place it here. We're going to place it here as well, and we're going to continue forward through our tunnel. Um, eh. I think I actually swap these, but I mean, this will work too. Uh, I can't do that. Alright, so if you hate me, you hate me, but... Um, I want to keep this build the same as how I had it. So, heals, builds, attach one here, and, uh, all Dura 2 reload here. Yeah, don't, uh, don't cruise my me for that, but I want to keep it the same as in my screenshots. Oh, no. Did I make an oopsie? Nah, there's no way I made an oopsie right there. Okay, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, whew. Looking at the screenshots again, my mind was all, um, what's the word for it? Confused. I was just really confused, but we're good. We have it right now. We're going to place another wooden floor spike here. We're going to have our reload speed broadside, so crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, durability. We're going to have it here. And then we're going to have our purple sound wall. So let's go sound wall, all durability, purple reload, legendary reload. Boop. We're going to place it here. Right, so all these are on different timings once they go off initially. Uh, so hopefully they mitigate the propane a lot. Simple enough. We're then going to come to right here, and I do have um, a wall dart with reload speed here. So let's go to our reload speed wall dart. We're going to place one right here. All right. We're going to have a reload speed uh, wall dynamo. We're going to place it here. We're going to have a reload speed wall dynamo here. Well, we'll just go through and place all the reload speed. We're going to have a reload speed here and a reload speed here. All right, so we've placed all of our reload speed wall dynamos. We're going to take our reload speed wall darts, so our crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability, and we're going to place one right here, one right here. Okay. And we're also going to place one right here. Actually, not one right there. I lied. We're going to place one right here. Um, mainly because I want these to be offset as well, um, the whole timing thing. Um, but the, yeah, the, we're going to get the crit, uh, 
the double crit damage one's out now. So these are going to be damage, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, durability. We're going to place one right here. We're going to place one right here. Uh, this we're going to have as a reload speed one. Boom. And then we're going to get our crit damage one again. And we're going to go all the way over here. So that wall that we placed earlier, this will shoot into the tunnel. It'll mainly only hit smashers once they step up onto that ridge. But it's there for free damage. So we're going to take it. All right. So we have all of our little wall traps, except for right here. This is just going to be, um, we're going to get our crit build wall dynamos. So this is damage, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, durability. Replace one right here, one right here, one right here. And that should be it on those right there. All right. We're going to keep going forward and we will have our ceiling zappers. So I actually don't use a lot of these nowadays, but um, ceiling zappers are really good at just trying to insta-kill something. And that's what we need right here. So we're going to have one right here, 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 and here. So four in total, uh, following the floor that we have set. On these little corner pieces, we didn't place those for just no apparent reason. We have a crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability ceiling electric field, trying to max out our crit damage uh, on a potential husk walking through this area. We're then going to have tar pits, right? So I have full confidence that a smasher will not lose their CC count by the time they get through this tunnel, as the only real way they're going to lose CC uh, count pointer thingy, I don't even know what to call it anymore, um, is by these sound walls. But I mean, realistically, there's four sound walls, one breaks half the time. So there's about three times they're actually going to get stunned. I guarantee if they get to this point, they're going to charge and they're going to get stopped in this. And that's what that's for. So yeah, that's um, the traps in the main tunnel. Wow. Exciting. But then we're just going to come right over here into our dancer. We're also going to have a uh, reload speed wall dart just right here. Um, just to cap off the tunnel in case they do get to right here. If something gets right here, it's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. So that's why we have it right there. All right. Um, okay, so that's all the trapping in this little area. Now we need to go trap out this area up top here. Um, this is not too complex this area up here it's basically just spawn trap and then try to kill them as quickly as possible uh you don't have to worry about durability up here because frankly uh it's just not gonna get hit very often so i do have an all durability two reload speed uh sound wall right here we're gonna hop on top of this build and we're gonna add these reload speed wall darts so reload speed but oop Okay, let's see if I can finesse this. Drop, place, jump. Okay, so reload speed right there. We're going to have our crit build ceiling electric fields on the ceiling. Boop, boop, boop. There's going to be four of them. And we're going to have ceiling zappers. Uh, two ceiling zappers. I... Okay, yeah. Two ceiling zappers right here. And then we're going to have a gas trap on the back of this. It's just going to be the crit build one. We're going to have it here. We're then going to just spam wall dynamos. So... You guys can alternate them, and I'm going to for this video, but I feel like I was just lazy at one point. So I feel like I don't do this half the time, but we're going to have our reload speed one here and here, and we're going to have our crit build ones, our heavy hitting ones, right here and here. We're then just going to say two reload speed broadsides because I don't feel like adding another trap to the trap list. But those are just the crit build broadsides right there. All right. And we're going to then place some um, tar pits. So guarantee their CC counter is not going to be broken by the time they step into the tunnel because there's nothing to break it. So we're going to have those tar pits. And that should be about it for this build. Um, not much to it. Let's see. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. That's good. We placed that one. I would have forgotten about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to come on over here. So one of those things is um, when you get late wait, I mean, like wave 30 and like shits hit the fan on sinkhole. Sometimes these traps run out and this will still be standing. But a flinger on wave 30 um, can walk this way, walk through here and not die. Uh, and they can go all the way through here, walk up here, walk up this ramp, walk this way, and then they'll throw out your amplifier. So we're just going to add a little tiny damage tunnel right here. So we're going to have a wall, floor, wall, uh, ceiling. We're going to have a tar pit, a crit build gas trap, and we're going to have our reload speed broadsides. 
So those are the broad spots right here. The crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, durability. But yeah, that's the build. Tunnel North. Have fun. There's game gameplay after this. Um... Yeah, do the YouTube things. I don't really care. If you really want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to like it, like it. Doesn't really matter. I don't think it does anything. All right. Peace. Oh, gameplay after this.